So I've set off this morning at half six. It's a lovely morning, but it's gonna get scorching hot again later. So I'm gonna get to Coakley Stephen, hopefully by lunchtime and uh, see what the situation with the weather is. It was good yesterday to sort of just get my, get my gear sorted and have a good shower. And I got rid of some bits and bobs, cooked some food and, but it was so frustrating just sitting there and not being able to hike. Because I felt absolutely fine, but it was just that heat, that absolute searing heat. So, kind of just like a half day really then yesterday, but I feel well rested and we'll see what happens today. Really nice around here, it's very open. And there's a lovely breeze as well, it's absolutely fantastic. So, if this breeze keeps up all day, it'll be amazing. I've just realized that that was the wrong way. <laughs> I've got to go back down there to get back on the path. So it's only down there apparently. So fortunately I didn't walk too far. I think I was a bit carried away with the, the bridge. So when you come down um, towards the river, when you get to that house, it's all boarded up. Uh, don't do what I did and not pay attention and walk right along over the viaduct there and then have to come all the way back to Smardale Bridge and back up here. <laughs> so yeah, don't get, pay attention and make sure you turn right. <laughs> so just been in Kirkby Stephen and there's everything you want there. There's loads of cafe shops, had a lovely plowman's lunch. There's hiking shops as well if you need to replace something or anything. So really nice little place and there's a co-op down here. So I'm just gonna, stock up with some mods and ends but a lovely place well i'm at the nine standards at the top from kirkby stephen here they are lined up you can see these miles away i saw these this morning in the distance these little points nobody knows what they were for but i'm going to use them for shade in a second and <laughs> drink some water ah oh, it's weird to be here i've seen it so many times on youtube I'll tell you what, leaving Kirkby Stephen down there a couple of hours ago, there it is, getting up here, it's a long old slog. It never ends. The path is all right. It's not like the Lake District with all jagged rocks. It's just never ending. So get plenty of water and fuel up in Kirkby Stephen before you hump up that thing. That is a long, long slog. <laughs> Just having a, a shady break behind the nine standards, at least they're good for shade, that's for sure. Um, this afternoon was hot as well, like yesterday, but there was a breeze, a really good breeze that's just keeping me cool. I'm keeping covered up, like my sleeves rolled down, um, that weird thing over my head, um, so I look like a sphinx. But um, I'm keeping completely covered up because, you know, the sun's still strong, but that breeze, Oh my goodness, lifesaver. I can just keep going. So I'm about six miles away from Keld. It's bone dry up here. Um, so I'm just gonna smash it to Keld. There's a couple of campsites there I'll have a look at. But a guy in a cafe told me there's really good wild camping around that area with uh, a river and everything. Plus there's a pub there as well. But um, yeah, yesterday the heat was just still and it was just burning. It was just like incineration. It was just too much and I'm glad I didn't carry on yesterday because the bit to uh, Kirby Stephen was open, no shade, no water, nothing. And if I did that in that heat yesterday, I don't know, it would, I would have got ill, I think. Um, I'm not hardcore enough for that sort of stuff. So put me a day behind, but I'm, I don't really know when I'm finishing. I don't care. But, um, today that breeze, oh, and there's actually clouds in the sky. I haven't seen clouds for a while. It is supposed to rain soon in a couple of days, but the not matter. But um, whew, that hill coming up from Kirby Steep, <laughs> that's like the South Downs Way hill, hills, that one. They're not like really rugged and steep like the Lake District, but they're just long, like long, 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 and they just don't stop. And you're just like, when is this hill ever gonna end? It's one of those hills. But um, it's worth it when you get up here. And whoever built these things, however long ago, hundreds of years ago, nobody knows why they built them. Thank you very much, because the shade is great. <laughs> so 
So I've come down the blue route, which is the August onwards to December, I think. Um, it's pretty tough going actually, you have to watch every step and you come around, end up at this little ravine. So I've just filled up my water and filtered it, which is good. And it's going around to Raven seat apparently. Um, and then hopefully not too far to Keld, another two or three miles, I think. Um, but it's just flattened out. You have to, <laughs> You have to watch every step you do. There's a clear path all the way through where it's where it's been worn. You, you know, it's not a deliberate thing. So that's good. You can see the path clearly. There are some boggy bits and uh, even in this incredible dry season that we've had, there's still some boggy bits. So I would not want to do that in normal weather, British weather conditions, because you'd have to have Wellington boots. You'll be shin deep in like <laughs> bog. So uh, that would be hell, actually. I wouldn't like that at all. But um, yeah, it's all right. There's no breeze down here now. I think I'm, when I was up in the hills, there was some breeze, but now there's not. So it's quite warm again, but I'm nearly there, I think. So I think I'm about a mile away from Keld. There's a couple of campsites there. There was a farm back there, Raven's Back Farm, I think, and they did camping, but didn't look like they had any facilities. But it's still early in the evening and I want to crack on and make up for, for yesterday. So I'm going to get to Keld and see what happens. This side of the river, once you go past the farm, um, the path is lovely. Not like from the nine standards down, that was horrible. Um, I was a little bit bored as well. I don't mean that badly, nastily, because the scenery is lovely. But trouble is, when you've just gone through the Lake District, which is so jaw-droppingly epic, everything else seems a little bit meh, you know. <laughs> so it's just like get your head down and steam on, really. But yeah, I'm a little bit bored. <laughs> so I've just stopped at this uh, camp place in Keld. The first site I went to, there was no flat pitches, but so I went back to reception and she said they own all of this. <laughs> There's tons of it. So I found a nice pitch here. I'm just in the process of putting my tent up before it gets dark. Lovely sunset and there's a river down there and there's toilets and showers. Nice little village. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I did 20 odd miles today. I don't know, but yeah, it's pretty good. Well, it's a beautiful sunset again, but I am being eaten by midges. Oh my goodness, they're worse than the Ennardale water. Absolutely savaging me. So I've got to hide in here. 